In this video, we will explain how to prepare a multiple step income statement and then briefly discuss the comprehensive income statement. Companies widely use two forms of the income statement. One is the single step income statement. This statement is so named because only one step, subtracting total expenses from total revenues, is required in determining net income or net loss. There are two primary reasons for using a single step form. A company does not realize any type of profit or income until total revenues exceed total expenses. So it makes sense to divide the statement into these two categories. The second reason is the form is simple and easy to read. In a single step statement, all data are classified into two categories. The first category is revenues, which include both operating and non-operating revenues, such as interest revenue and gain on the sale of equipment. The second category is expenses. This category includes cost of goods sold, operating expenses, income tax expense, and non-operating expenses, such as interest expense, and loss on the sale of equipment. To determine net income or loss, we simply subtract total expenses from total revenues. An alternative form of the income statement is the multiple step income statement. The multiple step income statement is often considered more useful because it highlights the components of net income. The multiple step income statement has three important line items, gross profit, income from operations, and net income. As I just stated, the multiple step income statement has three important line items, gross profit, income from operations, and net income. They are determined as follows. You subtract cost of goods sold from net sales to arrive at gross profit, we then deduct operating expenses from gross profit to determine income from operations. And then finally, we add or subtract the results of activities not related to operations and subtract income tax expense from our income from operations to determine net income. Companies report income tax expense as a separate line item in the income statement before net income. The net income is the same under either a single step or multiple step income statement. The two income statements differ in the amount of detail displayed and the order presented. We will discuss each of the components of a multiple step income statement in detail. The first line item is sales. The income statement for a merchandising company typically presents gross sales for the period. The company deducts sales returns and allowances and sales discounts, both contra accounts, from sales revenue to arrive at net sales. The excess of net sales over cost of goods sold is gross profit. Gross profit represents the merchandising profit of a company. It is determined by deducting cost of goods sold from net sales. PW Audio's gross profit is $144,000. It is calculated by subtracting the cost of goods sold of $316,000 from net sales of $460,000. Operating expenses are the next component in measuring net income for a merchandising company. Operating expenses were $114,000. The company determines its income from operations by subtracting operating expenses from gross profit. Income from operations is $30,000, which is calculated by subtracting operating expenses of $114,000 from gross profit of $144,000. Non-operating activities are reported in the income statement after operating activities. These activities consist of various revenues, expenses, 
gains and losses that are unrelated to the company's main line of operations. The distinction between operating and non-operating activities is critical to external users. These users view operating income as sustainable, whereas many non-operating activities are considered non-recurring. Non-operating activities are reported in the income statement as other revenues and gains and other expenses and losses. This slide does a fabulous job of listing examples of each. The net amount resulting from other revenues and gains is added and the net amount resulting from other expenses and losses is subtracted from income from operations to arrive at income before income taxes. This amount is then multiplied by the company's income tax rate to arrive at income tax expense. Income tax expense is subtracted from income before income taxes to arrive at net income. The comprehensive income statement presents items not included in the determination of net income. Examples of such items include certain adjustments to pension plan assets, gains and losses on foreign currency translation, and unrealized gains and losses on certain types of investments. Items that are excluded from net income but included in comprehensive income are either reported in a combined statement of net income and comprehensive income or in a separate statement. Before you complete this learning objective, please watch the next video on how to calculate both profit margin and gross profit rate. The solutions to this exercise will be provided in another document.